my channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications that way you won't miss any of my videos and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like okay so I'm gonna be eating Panda Express while answering the questions you guys send me through my IG I ordered I know this is I think one of them is orange chicken I think this one's orange chicken I ordered the little ones, orange chicken with rice, and then the sesame honey chicken with rice. And I also ordered um, cheese, oh my God, I'm gonna say this so wrong, the cheese ragoon, ragoons or something like that. I love these. I This is the first time I record just sitting down and talking to the camera, not doing anything, not recording my day or a, an event or a, challenge or something like that so it is harder i'm not even gonna lie it's a bit awkward and then my brother's in the other room i don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear um the tv because he has it so loud because he's deaf this one's better i hope all right guys let's get into it someone asked me when did you want to start a youtube channel and how long did it take okay i never even thought about doing youtube um at all and i feel you started telling me you should do youtube videos like you should just do youtube like you should start doing youtube like get into youtube and i never knew what the youtube world was before like, so I did I did want to do a YouTube video, a DIY YouTube video on how to paint um the packs, like the orange ones where they're like super cheap instead of going and buying like a super nice pot already. Um you buy the orange ones, the clay ones. They look orange, they're clay and they're just basic ones. So I was I was trying to do a DIY video on how to paint them, but it was a complete fail. I just did not feel comfortable talking to the camera. I was like Oh, like I gotta restart. I didn't say this right. I gotta restart. So I kept seeing myself restart, restart, restart. And when I go Facebook Live, ain't no restarts, you know? It's like whatever's going on, it's going on, and that's it. So I was like, why is it so hard for me to do a dang video? Like, how? Like, I go Facebook Live all the time. Like, I don't understand this. So then I was like, I just gave up and I ended up going Instagram Live, I believe, um, painting the past with you guys. So that was the first time I tried doing the video. Uh, I started doing my, a video for YouTube and it didn't go up. And then after that, I just kept doing my Facebook lives and I was thinking like, what should I do? Like, what's up? Like, I feel like um, you as a person judge yourself the most. And I was just thinking like everything that I thought, I'm like, no, that's not good. No one's gonna wanna watch that. No one's gonna wanna watch that. And I think all my ideas suck. Like that's that's just me. So, I just feel like um, it took me what a month after like saying okay, I want to do a YouTube video. I want to get into YouTube. It took me a month. I didn't even answer the question, did I? I start rambling. I'm sorry. Um, so I wanted to start YouTube because you guys are the ones that told me to start YouTube, and I just thought it was like it's a, it's something I love doing. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then a month later, I did my first YouTube video, which was my Miss um, Powerlifting Competition. So that's the answer for number one. And um, question number two, what advice would you give a shy person who wants to start their own channel? I, I pretty, maybe, okay, I am a shy person. It probably doesn't come across that way once I get to know you or once I'm like, um, like used to the situation. Like I'm not, like Facebook lives. That was very shy for like i was so nervous shy i thought like oh my god like what if i fail but you just gotta take away what if i fail out like you gotta take that attitude and take it out the door girl because you know what if you fail you fail every successful person on this world failed period like there's no way someone was successful and did what they love doing or did whatever made them successful without failing 
You know, you have to fail to learn lessons. You have to fail to pick yourself back up and rebuild yourself. It's fine. Or, okay, this didn't work for me. Let me try something else. Because if not, you're going to live with regrets. You're going to live with what if this or what if that. Or 10 years from now, you're going to be 40 plus years old or 50 plus years old. It's like, dang, what if I did start that YouTube? Or what if I did go Facebook Live? Or what if I did open up that business online? Or anything. Like anything you want to do, just do it. And I don't think I answered the question. What advice would you give a shy person who wants to start her own channel? Just do it. And YouTube videos. Just keep doing the videos. Even if you don't post them, just keep creating videos. Maybe one day you'll get the courage to post it on YouTube. But I... Do you use a camera or iPhone for your videos? So the first video I did was the power lifting competition. I did use my old camera, but it was um, battery operated and it was not great quality in the videos. The camera kept shutting off on me and then the screen of the camera wouldn't flip forward where I could see what I'm recording, like when I would be talking to it like this. Um, so that uh, was the I first was video I made was uh, with the old camera, which I still have hanging in my room. But every other video I've made with my iPhone, which I have an iPhone X, X, S, Max. Um, I don't think it matters what phone you have. I mean, it's what I have. Do I? I do. I wish I had a like a specific camera in mind. If you watch my Instagram stories, and if you watch uh, well my Instagram stories or Facebook stories, you would know that I have a camera in mind that I really, really want to buy to to do my YouTube videos. But it is expensive, unfortunately. So that I'm hoping I either wait till my birthday to splurge on a camera or my husband did say listen to this guys these guys gonna help me out on this one he said if i reach 500 yes 500 subscribers on youtube he would go buy me the camera so please go tell your mama, your cousins, your sister, your brother, your daddy to go subscribe. Go subscribe, please, please, please. That's all you gotta do is push this button or that button. One of these two corners, there's a little button. Click on it, subscribe. So my husband can go buy me a camera and I don't have to wait till my birthday to buy myself a camera. Anyways, that's that. But for now, my iPhone will have to do. Uh, it's getting cold, guys. Mm. It says, where do you see yourself in five years? I just like picture my family right now and picture us in our house. Um, what else did I put in my vision board? Um, I think that's all I put in my vision board. Just family, house, and a successful career for both of us. Excuse me. So that's where I see me and my husband in five years. If you could have anything in the world, what would it be and why? Oh, this is a hard one. This was a hard one too. Honestly, I didn't answer any of these questions before coming on here, so it's really hard. So I would want four the Miami project the, um, to come up with a solution for paralyzed people. I would want them to figure out how to make my husband walk again and everyone that's in a wheelchair and everyone that's been paralyzed and been in accidents or anything to have that figured out already. Because come on, we're in 2019. How do you not have that figured out? Like they've been talking about stem cells and rejuvenating and all of this stuff, but I just hope that it's soon. Like that's what I want, right? That's what I would want right now. And I would want it, why? Because I want my husband to be able to walk, to do the things that I know he's dying to do. And that's what I would want. That's the only thing in this world that I would want. For
They didn't even give me chopsticks. Chopsticks? Chopsticks. If you were going, if you were to go back to school, what would it be for? I would go back to, well, I went to college for one semester. I did like, and then after that, I just never went, which was six years ago. And I was going because I wanted to be an accountant. But now I would definitely go back for marketing and business management. And then these Thank last two questions are not as deep as the other questions. So they asked me, what is your favorite makeup brand? And I honestly, like, I don't have one favorite makeup brand. Like, I have favorite stuff for different things. So for my foundation, I love the NARS Illuminating Flawless or Weightless Foundation. Is the matte um, square bottle. Ooh, that's my favorite um, foundation. I haven't found another one. I haven't been looking either. Um, but that's the one I use. I've been using for years now. And my favorite lipsticks now are honestly... Life Glam is honestly my ultimate favorite. It has been for a year now. Because I, I think this is my one year anniversary with them. It's They send you three lipsticks for $19.99. But I know if you use my referral code, um, you get an extra lipstick for free. So the first month, you'll get four lipsticks instead of three. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I love it. I've been using it for a year and I haven't bought a lipstick ever since. Before, if you guys have been with me since day one, you guys know that I used to use Kat Von D lipsticks, which cost almost $22 each lipstick. And I used to splurge on my lipstick because that was the only lipstick I liked. It didn't dry up my lips. It was matte and it stayed on my lips all day. Then I joined Live Glam. And I feel like it's the same thing. The lipstick doesn't dry up my lips. It's matte. It stays on all day. And I get three lipsticks for $19.99. And I don't even have to go shopping. I get them automatically sent to my mailbox. And I know if you don't like a color, you could let them know before they send it to you because they obviously reveal the lipsticks that they're going to give you before they give them to you. And you can request not to, like to replace one of them for something else if you don't if you think you're not gonna wear it. I haven't done that because I could just give them away or anything. Like I don't think I I pretty much like every single one of them. There's probably like three or four like because of the colors. Like for St. Patrick's Day, I think they sent us a green one, and it's like I don't see myself wearing a green lipstick ever. So that one like I could just give away. But I never wrote them to replace it. I never, like, I don't know how that process is, but I've heard that you can do that. So that's for my lipstick. For my eyeshadow, I know I'm not even, like, they, I don't make money or anything by promoting Live Glam or anything. I just honestly, honest, true to God, that I love their products. Because a few months back, I can't remember when my first palette, because I didn't even know they had a shadow, eyeshadow um subscription as well it's called shadow me and i forgot oh that's how i got into it i'm like how did i get into the shadows i never even knew they had shadows shadow i got it because let's do makeup came out with her palette it, her first palette does she have two now or is it just one i don't know but it was like um her first palette which was like the pink one with like blossoms on it that was my very first shadow um, eyeshadow thing, and I had to subscribe to get her eyeshadow. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it, and I'll cancel afterwards. I forgot to cancel, and they sent me my second eyeshadow palette, which I freaking love. And then I forgot to cancel again, because I was like, why do I want so many eyeshadow palettes too? Like, I'm not trying, because I'm like, not trying to spend a lot of money either. But I kept forgetting to cancel, and now I got four of their palettes. I don't think I, I don't think I've canceled yet either, but I use every single one of the palettes. I don't even go for my other palettes anymore. Like these are the palettes that I use and I use today too. And I just love them. Like I feel like that company and then I love the owners too because I, I follow them on Instagram, YouTube, well just Instagram and YouTube and Snapchat. It's Dar and Laura. They're freaking amazing. I feel like they're such 
good people and i just get nothing but positive vibes through their videos and energy they give me energy they give you motivation and i just feel like they're freaking amazing um and it was crazy because my husband actually follows dar because he makes motivational videos i never even knew he did that and so my husband was like oh he would show me videos and i was like looking at the name i'm like wait who is that I'm like dar i'm like oh my god that's the guy that i tell you about because i tell him about the life plan i'm like oh my god they're so cute da, da, da. but he don't pay attention to me so then finally I'm like, yeah, and I showed him a video of the Darn Laura YouTube video page. He's like, yeah, that's the guy that does the videos. I'm like, such a crazy, like, it was just crazy that we both watched the same dude and we didn't even know. But the eyeshadow I like from Life Glam, the lipstick I like from Life Glam, my foundation I like from NARS, um, my eyeshadow um, to fill in my eyebrows. Which one is it? Damn, I should have brought it. I think, which one do I use? Anastasia? No, I do not. I don't think it's Anastasia. I think it's Urban Decay. I'll show it to you on Instagram because I can't even remember the name. But I use it on all my Facebook videos. Um, mascara, I only use a Mexican or mascara that comes from Mexico. Like the avocado one, um, mostly the avocado one or the pink hot fusion ones. I don't even know what they're made out of, apple or something. But, and my mate, it's all natural mascara. Well, that's what they say. And that's the only mascara that works for me. I tried Too Faced. I tried um, Urban Decay. I tried Benefit. I tried all of these brands. Or I even tried NYX. I even tried non-brands, like the basic ones. All the mascaras make my eyelashes just go down. Like, it's either too heavy for my eyelash. I don't get it. Like, they just, I curl them, I put the mascara on. Like, within two hours, my eyelashes are already going down. Like, they do not stay up. I've tried everything, and they do not. And then when I got the Mexican mascara from my sister-in-law, Gloria, shout out to her. She introduced me to the, the mascara, the avocado one, the very first one. I was obsessed. They used to sell it at Walgreens, and then I don't know why they just canceled it. It's like gone. So now, each time you go to Mexico or anybody that we know goes to Mexico, they have to buy us like 10 of those mascaras. And so far, none of them like went bad on me. Like, I've been good. So that's all I use for my mascara. For my eyeliner, I do like a NYX um, eyeliner. The NYX one is cheap. I like it. I think it's easy to put on. Currently, I do not have the next one. I have the one that was sent to me in my FabFitFun box. I don't even know what brand it is, but I showed you guys when I opened the FabFitFun box. That's the one I'm using right now since I got it on my box. I'm using it. I like it. And that's what I'm using for my eyeliner right now. For my highlight, um, I have this weird, like actually, I, don't even, I found it. Um, on a Facebook page, it's like a little seashell and it's called Cosmo something. And I've been having that for a few years now, and it broke on me the other day. So I have to look up that page again because I don't even know where it was from, but I have to like Google it or something because that's my ultimate favorite highlight of my freaking life. And I have to find it because I have not found a better highlight than that. And once I find it, I'll show you guys, obviously, on my Facebook Lives or Instagram page. But, I mean, I don't really have a specific favorite brand. Like, oh, my God, this brand is amazing, and I'll get everything from them, if you know what I mean. Like, I have everything, like, from different brands. What is your favorite movie? Honestly, I don't think I have. This question got asked to us in the therapy or family reunification program that my brother has us in. They asked us, what is your favorite movie? And the amp, honestly, I don't have, like, I have never had a favorite movie. Like, I never thought about that before. But movies that I would watch over and over again is Selena movie. Hello, the Selena movie. And all the Disney princess movies or any Disney movie, to be honest. Like, I'm a Disney fan. I love Disney movies. And I could watch those on repeat. So I don't really have one favorite movie. Like I have a lot. So, <laughs> that so is my question. That is all of my questions and my answers. 
and sorry this one this video honestly was like here's another answer to no one asking me but this video was really hard to do i am not even gonna lie it was a little bit awkward so please excuse me if i seem like awkward or off or not looking at the camera or whatever it is don't make fun of me please don't come at me and yeah this was very very nervous i don't know why like i was so nervous doing this video i feel like it's my first one just literally sitting here and talking to you guys and answering these questions about things you know and i just hope no one takes any of my questions out of perspective or however you would say like don't twist my words or anything but i hope you guys love this video please please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget if i get 500 subscribers my husband is going to buy me a camera and it's better videos for you guys so go hit that subscribe button and while you're at it turn those post notifications post notifications on so you can be alerted and told by youtube at crystal's life just uploaded a new video and today's post notification shout out goes to heidi martinez she said happy anniversary this was so cute thank you so much heidi for watching my videos and commenting and liking them and subscribing you are truly amazing thank you for everybody that does it don't forget if you want a post notification shout out all you have to do is comment on any of my videos i randomly pick them so just good luck and keep commenting on the video, guys. Bye. Say bye, mama. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. Thank you for watching me, Tia. Say bye, Soraya. Oh, she wants the food. Look at her dress, guys. So I cute. No, that's mine. Say bye. Say bye.